fill your cup with whatever you're drinking and join me on this next video welcome back here to the tool scouter shop we have another project here something i found in the antique store and i wanted to share it with you this is something that i you that i've used not this one but it's a trammel and it's called a trammel points and it came with two of these this one here is broken and so we're going to see if we can't fix that one this one here is in good shape so i thought we would just sand it and clean it up a little bit and clean up this rod and then it's got a hole down here to be able to put a pencil in so that you can do radiuses and things like that so come on down here on the workbench and let's take a look at what we want to do all right we have this trammel this here is one that i purchased i think it was from rockler can't remember for sure but um, it is a really nice one i just bought the points and then you cut a board that you need for the length that you need this side here as you can see has just a sharp metal point in it this one here has a lead lead pencil a lead piece of lead in there and you can open up the back here and you've got some extra leads that you can some extra graphite that you can put into to replace the the one that's there and i really like this one it works wonderfully um, you just turn this right here and it releases from the board you just cut whatever size board you need i just use this size here to store them on and so they work really great but I saw this one in the antique store and it is, let's see what this is. I think it's all of three feet, um, 32 inches at least, 32 and a half inches. So I thought, you know, I like this and you can have these that just adjust on the, the rod itself and it will move down as you can see and you can set your point put your pencil in that hole and make radiuses so i thought i'd take this and clean it up sand this down just a little bit and get it nice and smooth and working nicely maybe if i can find some graphite around here put maybe a little bit of graphite on this rod i don't know we'll see we'll sand it and that may give enough clearance but i want to clean these all up and this one here this piece has come completely off so i have an idea how to fix that and it came from you guys the viewers so let's see if we can't clean this up and get it in good working order Alright guys, we're going to give this a try. <clears throat> Several of you on an axe handle that I was doing that had cracked put me on to or recommended this 2P10. I went and watched the video and it looks like a really good product. It looks similar to something I used when I worked in the cabinet shop years ago. I just didn't know it was as readily available, but I also saw them use baking soda to fill in space so i thought we might try or at least give this a try and see how it works All 
All right, I'm using the thin stuff here because I think that will penetrate a whole lot better. So let's see if we can't get that down in there and get it setting up. Get this thing out of the way because I don't want to be blowing it all over when I use the aerosol. I think you guys know what you're talking about. Oh, it's solidified. All right, I'm gonna take and sand that a little bit. See if we can't make that look nice. another tool here I want to show you it's a sanding board and it's basically turned into a file this is something that my grandfather had and he gave it to my dad but when my grandfather gave it to my dad it was plastic so I don't know if my dad broke it uh, I don't know what happened to it necessarily but he took and turned it into wood. Maybe he just preferred the wood. Wood does feel better than plastic. So, but he took the hardware off of it and built this sanding board. Kind of works as a sanding file and you take one inch belt, sanding belts, and you can put it on there. My dad used to make executive toys and is very detailed. These very small detail things. He'd a lot of times buy the wheels maybe the headlights <clears throat> on some of these things, the little hubs, but he made all of these other things. He made the air intakes uh, on the diesel engines and all of that. He even made a semi for me and it has walnut that goes down the motor cab and then up through the door and across through the cab, the sleeping cab, all the way down the it's a, a walnut inlay inside of red oak and it really turned out nice he's got this articulated dump truck that he made and all of these kinds of things so he would use this to take and sand all those little fine details so i think they're down here inside these corners we're going to try to clean them up and we're going to put this tool that is i'm sure is very old and it's from, I'd be the third generation to own it. And it's even been rebuilt since my grandfather owned it. So let's um, see if we can't get this cleaned up a little better.
looks like that says J.H. Daughtry on there. Let's see what that might be the same thing there. see our repair job you still see the lines but i think the integrity of the piece <clears throat> is still going to be good so i thought these might be brass but they're not and they're just steel so i polished those up but i think that will work very very well And there it is. We've got a nice trammel here. <clears throat> got both pieces. This one here was the one that we fixed up and glued. I think the integrity of it is going to work well. But I'm gonna want to demonstrate this, so I'm gonna take this one here off, set it here because generally the way I'd use this, and I don't know. If some people would use these together as scrapers to scribe a, a mark, I'm not really sure. But this here you can take and you can set your angle or your, um, your radius. And then you tighten this down to help hold it into place. Several of these places, I don't know if you can see, see right there, somebody really cranked down on these I don't want it to be that tight but um, the pencil then fits in here and the pencil is not the hole is not big enough for the pencil to go in but it will hold it snugly <clears throat> and then you can take whatever you're going to use set your point out here and then you can take and make your describe your line mark your line and make nice and neat if you want to change that you can change your radius and tighten it down to whatever you want and then you can scribe a whole new set of lines well, this has been a fun project to do on a wet and windy day and so we've got this all done i'm sure i will put this to use one of these days i like to make these adirondack chairs as you see here in the picture and when you're trying to mark that arch on the backrest trying to put that and get that done right this here will be the perfect tool for that usually i just make a makeshift string right away or grab a board a stick and drill a hole in it and do it real quick with just placing my finger but this here will be something that's already made for that and so i'm really glad to have it when i just love the rustic look of it so many of these tools as i've shared with you before i take a look at them and it just makes me smile and this is one of those so we've got a place up here on the wall for it Thanks so much for sharing your time with me, coming, stopping by, and enjoying this video with me. I enjoy making them. I do my best to make it worthy of your time. Don't take your time for granted, so I appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless you. Give us a thumbs up, comment if you'd like to, and hope to see you on the next video. Have a good one.